Looks like that's the magic rock I'm supposed to take you to down there. Stagecraft gives us the opportunity to be able to bring that production scale, size, scope, that kind of expansive storytelling in a way that we've never been able to shoot before. We partnered with John Favreau to realize his vision for capturing in camera, real time, visual effects and background plates on an LED volume. Stagecraft is ILM's virtual production toolkit, and it's really an end-to-end -end solution. Uh, everything from the early stages of previs and working with the art department, all the way through motion capture and working with, now, live pixels on set. So what you see on that LED wall is actually what goes straight into the show. We could actually get in-camera finished visual effects that would really help us with the quick turnaround that television requires. In that moment, when things are happening in front of the camera, you want that to be as pure and real as possible. So working with the volumes, creating environments, and even writing to the advantages of this methodology was something that I kind of quickly picked up. There's a lot of stories that we tell here and that take advantage of utilizing the volume. You know, John and Dave have a very clear point of view about what works well there, and it's not fantasy for fantasy's sake. There is something in the DNA that feels like it's of our world. Let's just get the beginning again, just for timing. The DPs, the directors, and the actors can now see the world they're in and interact with that world the way they would if they're out on a real location. Focus pulling, pushing a real camera, getting the interaction from the lighting from the LEDs onto to the actors. Typically, the production designer creates their aspirational art, and that is then translated in a virtual art department. Locations are created because they're digital assets, essentially. So the way that you scout is you do it in VR, and you basically block out your scene in this virtual world. It was just a fresh new way of looking at stuff, and the way that you could decide on the landscape as well. It's a great throwback to a time when people would make decisions before post. <laughs> I'm able to put actors and cameras in this environment and we can see it and play in it and live in it. It democratizes special effects and visual effects. If you turn off the LED screens, what is actually practically there is very minimal. In other words, you don't have to build as much to create the scope of the, the sets that we want. Everything comes back to honest lighting. Having LED screens means you start with something natural and real, and then you cut it, you darken it, you negative, you shape it to how you want it to feel. For all intents and purposes, the light that's hitting them, it is natural light. Technology is at its best when it's so good that it becomes invisible, and that's what this is. You walk on the volume, and there you are in the middle of the world you're trying to create, and it's jaw-dropping. ILM developed some software that was specific to this technology and lent it more to getting photorealism baking in certain rendered assets, like having sprites moving around back there. So that allows us to have a greater variety of set extensions in camera because you could have extras back there that you could never fit on the volume. We were able to leverage all that knowledge that we had in terms of experimenting with designs for the volume specifically. Could we build physical sets on the outside of the volume and push a camera all the way through seamlessly, going from physical set into digital set as the camera arrives within the walls of the LED screen. As long as you know the story you're trying to tell, we have a team that can facilitate that imagination and achieve great things. When Ahsoka entered the story, Obviously, there's a heavy influence of older samurai films that I had grown up watching. I wanted to make sure we had a feeling of that and the tension, the emotional content of what's going into the fight. We get natural lighting from the screens that actually are reflected on the characters themselves, and that created real reflections in the water. And when you add all that up, I mean, you know, as much as you can get in camera, the reality of it just enhances and makes it more believable. <laughs> We're making a limited series about the story of Obi-Wan Kenobi. My experience on Mandalorian was definitely pivotal. We're going to use the same technology that's allowing us to have the scope. It's not just sort of working in an abstract box of green screens. You know, you have the real elements there. It's great for filmmakers who work more organically and really want to be inspired by what they see on the day. The Stagecraft technology is available around the world with custom pop-ups where we can integrate our technology into your set. 
you've got the ability to go from one significant location to another significant location, literally without doing a unit move whatsoever. You can have magic hour for 12 hours a day. If you get into your edit and you realize, oh, we need to pick up a new line of dialogue from an actor or some other angle, you don't have to go all the way out to Tunisia to get that. You can go to a soundstage in LA. So that greatly reduced the footprint and the cost. Now you could use these techniques and tools to tell stories as small or as intimate as you want to as the technology becomes more widespread and affordable. So it's an extremely exciting time in the evolution of filmmaking and visual effects. And ILM is there to support those creative ambitions without encumbering the creative process. And all the innovations that are coming up through Stagecraft or otherwise are being generated to be able to excite and surprise our audience with the visuals that we're able to achieve through these technologies.